FYZ4K here, welcome back to another one. I hope you guys are doing well and keeping safe. Today we are going to be heading back into Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to show you guys how to close crop. Now close cropping is pretty much removing a background from a picture. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a second background in. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to be creating some layers. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's get into it. Let's get creative. Let's have some fun. Let's get our hands dirty. All right, so here we go. We got a picture of this young man. This is an ideal picture to work with. If you have a picture of a person, let's say wearing a white shirt with a white background, you're going to have a lot more of a difficult time close cropping the image. But for this example over here, it's good. You got some nice colorful clothes with a plain kind of white background. This shouldn't be too bad. So once again, I got these images from pixels.com. It's a free website to download pictures and videos. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement or anything like that. I just luckily found this website and I've been using it for a while. It's pretty good. Best part is it's free. So going back to the picture over here, what we're going to do now is we are going to start with the close cropping. So we're going to go to the quick selection tool right over here and I am going to make sure that the quick selection is selected, not the object selection or the magic wand. And we are going to drop down this little selection over here. And depending on the size that you want to work on, you can adjust whatever size you want. I want to remove the hardness from 100 to about 50%. Spacing will keep at a quarter percent. And size, we can go a little larger. That looks pretty good. And I'll start with clicking at the bottom here and holding my mouse button down. Now, as you see, it's pretty smart. Now, if you don't have enhanced edge check marked up here, please check it on because that will help. Now we will just go around. It's pretty darn good. All right. Picks out the shape pretty well because it can tell what is not a brick wall, what is not the same color. And yeah, I just, I just love the, I just love the software for that. So again, now you see it has made some mistakes. Now what we'll do is we'll fix up the face here and we will fix up the arm. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see what I'm gonna do. And if I hold the Alt button or the Alt Option button down on the Mac keyboard, it'll turn to a minus. So I'm just going to click this little by little because it picks up what the skin is like after you tell it that it has done something wrong then it corrects itself it knows exactly where to outline and it pretty much smoothens it up so I'm just going to give it the opportunity to kind of find itself first there we go okay so kind of looks rough at first but it smoothens it out pretty well the only reason this happens is because of the light that because of the light that's kind of casting on his shoulder here is almost matching with the brick wall. Okay. Again, you can drag like this or you can just click if it's something really small. Hopefully it fixes it. Yeah, we fixed it up though over there. I see some spots over here. And we will go in here and fix this up as well. Okay. Let's give it a second. Pretty darn good actually. Um, and everything else looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in here and we're going to keep the stool. Okay. And I'm going to clean up the section right over here and clean up. Oops. Have to make sure we're on the minus. Let's see if that fixed it up a little bit and we will fix this up over here. So it pretty much knows where to pick up or where to kind of select the subject, but at times it needs to be refined and it needs to be corrected. All right, pretty darn good. Now let's zoom back out. Okay, I'm gonna go right into here 
and we are going to select this tool again go a little bit smaller that's good let's give it a second almost had it almost had it there let's see all right not too bad okay let's zoom back out and everything is good i'm going to go into select now and say inverse and we are going to say select and mask once we click that you'll notice that the background is gone did a pretty darn good job with that and you got like a bunch of options here so you can adjust the transparency radius you know smoothness feather contrast shift edge all that good stuff now there's a little box here that says remember settings i've already selected that because i've had a project right before this one but you'll notice that on the sleeve area over here, let's see if I can zoom in while I'm working in that section there. You can notice that it's it's taken off too much. It's done a pretty good job with the hair, but again, taken off too much. The radius is at 75, so let's see what happens if we bring it down a bit. It fills it in nicely here. I think that looks pretty darn good at 30. So. If you haven't already checked this off, check off Remember Settings because it'll just make things easier for the next project you have. And we will click OK. And oh, also you have an option of saying New Layer or Same Layer or whatever. So we'll just say New Layer and click OK. Now if you just wanted a plain white background, what you could do is if you went to File, Save As, and Save as a JPEG. Save. OK. Now you see what happened is that it automatically has a white background just because we saved it as a JPEG. So you don't have to put a white background behind the subject. If you want it white, you can just save it as a JPEG and it's white. It's good. You're done. Now we're not quite done this project over here. We're going to add another picture to the back of this. So we want to change it up. So I have an interesting picture saved already that I'm going to bring in and I'm going to actually just say place linked and it's a funny one all right there we go so it's a farm now it is already placed it in another layer so we're going to make sure that this layer is selected and if I hold on the alt option button it keeps it in centered the picture so yeah, let's just kind of see what we're doing here. I'm, I'm just messing around today. It's a funny, interesting, entertaining tutorial. Let me just tell you that. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to hit the check mark at the top here that we're done. And it crops it automatically because our clipboard is a rectangle. And what I'm going to do is I am going to drag this layer below the background copy. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. Now, you can play around with the, the background image. You know, if you wanted to make that lighter, for instance, you found it too strong. You know, you wanted to kind of give that a bit of a, a, a hazy kind of look. So your subject sticks out a little better than, you know, like, I mean, like this, it's, it's a bit too strong. So you can kind of give it a hazy kind of look to it. So he sticks out a little better. You know, he's the subject in focus, right? And we are good. So that is pretty darn good. Look at that. Now you see the little grid at the back and that's just normal. But if you want to kind of get a good example of what that will look like, we are going to save that. And that's a JPEG. We'll call it... Yeah, we didn't even actually save the V2 earlier, but V2, JPEG, hit the OK, and voila, look at that. So literally in minutes, we cleared this guy's background up and we substituted it for a new one. We created a new layer, so you guys were able to see how I was able to work with separate layers here. So that is how you close crop a picture, and that's it, project done. Hit OK. Let's save this bad boy. And look at that.
Beauty. If you have any questions about what I did or if you're stuck somewhere, do comment below. I will reply to your message. And that is it. So I'll leave you guys at that. Please remember to smash that subscribe button. It's going to be down here. I really appreciate that. And you guys take care of yourselves. We'll catch you guys on the next one.